uh, good afternoon uh, this is now our plate number two orthographic drawing two the same procedure as we had in the first orthographic drawing uh, titled orthographic drawing one so you're going to provide a horizontal line and label it as h1 so in our plate number two according to your notes the thickness is 4.5 centimeters length is 5 centimeters while the width is 6 centimeters so the distance between h1 and h2 you have to consider the thickness of the object which is 4.5 so therefore from h1 to h2 you are going to measure 4.5 centimeters so once you are done you have to draw light horizontal and this will become your h2 now distance between h2 and h3 there is no specific so you have to draw your h3 so the purpose of the distance between h2 and h3 is you have to accommodate the dimensions later now distance of between h3 and h4 you have to consider the width of the object which is six centimeters so therefore you have to measure six cm then that will be your h3 i h4 by my mean now after drawing the four horizontal lines in your paper you are going to provide your vertical line and this will be your v1 then distance between v v1 and v2 that is five centimeters because you are going to consider the length of the object so this will be your v2 now in locating or constructing your side views as i've said you have to locate the intersection of your h2 and v2 and that specific location you are going to construct or project your 45 degree lines and once it is intersected with your h3 and h4 you have to draw or project a vertical line and this is now the slot for the top view this is the front view and the side view so notice that in constructing our side views we did not measure instead we need to locate our h2 and v2 to project our 45 so that we can create our side views now in order to complete our presentation we need to uh, add the details of the figure so h1 up we have to measure 1.5 1 1.5 1 uh, so that you can create your horizontal lines in the top view you need to measure 2 cm another 2 cm draw horizontal lines then once these horizontal lines in the top view intersects with the inclined lines or the 45 degree lines you have to draw your vertical line so that you can now identify the side views once you are done you have to draw your figures as i said you have to be very careful in drawing the figure so that there will be no errors to be committed once it is done apply the dimensions needed in our presentation so that you have to come you have you will complete the presentation 
so what I am doing right now is the presentation of the top view wherein in your uh, presentation you have to use your my gel 0.5 or jtech 0.5 and in the presenting your dimensions you have to use 0.3 and also in presenting your lettering or the label of your figure you have to use 0.3 also so that it is very refined uh, lettering or refined presentation so do not forget to complete your drawing so I hope that you have you have you got the uh, demonstration in our in my uh, YT channel.